This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In this video, let's look at the latest AI model from Google research. It is known as LIMO. Okay. So it stands for language image mixture of experts. It is a sparse model. Okay. A dense model, every part of a model is used for processing every input. That's a dense model. Whereas a sparse model, it employs conditional computation learn to root individual inputs to different experts in a potentially huge network. So this is a sparse model. Okay. Now what kind of a model is this? It can take as input either text or image and it produces a vector representation of the image or text. What happens internally is you have a dense transformer block followed by a mixture of experts transformer block where you have a router and a set of experts, right? Now what happens is that the routers decide which tokens part of an image or sentence go to which experts after being processed by expert layers, these gray layers and shared dense layers. Okay. You get the final output layer, which computes a single vector representation of either image or text. Why do you need a single vector representation for either image or text? Okay. So there is something called as contrastive learning, right? Multimodal contrastive learning. So what happens in multimodal contrastive learning? Models are trained on paired image text data, example, photo and its caption. Typically an image model extracts a representation of images and a different text model extracts a representation of text. Then the contrastive learning objective encourages the image and text representations to be close for the same image text pair and far away for content from different pairs. This is your multimodal contrastive learning. Okay. Such models with aligned representations can be adapted to new tasks without extra training data. For example, zero shot image classification where an image will be classified as a dog. If its representation is closer to the representation of the word dog than the word cat. Okay. So there were previously these models clip and align. These are two tower models, two tower because you have one for image, uh, one model for image representation and one model for text representation. And then you used to do the contrastive learning, right? And they achieved 76.2% and 76.4% zero shot classification accuracy on the ImageNet data set. What they say over here in this paper is that LIMO, it improves over these two tower dense model. It also outperforms two tower dense models by having an higher zero shot accuracy, which is 78.6 over here. Okay. So that is what LIMO has achieved. Okay. And what they also show over here is that, uh, whereas the other models, okay are having around 2.1 and 3 billion parameters, even though this particular LIMO model, okay, has 5.6 billion parameters in total, because it has this sparse experts, it only requires 675 million parameters during inference. Okay, that is the advantage over here. So that is what they claim over here is that these uh, sparser models are environmentally friendlier way to scale models. Okay. So that is why this sparser models are important. Okay. So that is what is about LIMO. The key idea here is that you have one network, which can accept a transformer network, which can accept a input as image or text. This transformer network is made of dense transformer blocks and a mixture of experts block. In each mixture of expert block, you have a router and you have a set of experts. The router can actually decide which part of your input goes to which of these experts and an input which is processed across these different dense and mixture of expert layers finally has an output layer where you get a representation of either text or image depending upon the input. And these representations can be then used for multimodal contrastive learning for tasks like zero shot image classification. Okay. I hope you find this video on LIMO interesting. Uh, the detailed paper is also present over here. I'll put a link to this blog as well as this paper in the description of the video. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video. Happy learning.